Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, hit the uh, the like button, share the inspirational minutes with David. Talk today. We uh yes, you know what I always say, you know what day it is, the weekend. And uh we're gonna have our weekend report. Uh today's Friday. Um I'll Word today, you know, I have my calendar. It says, um, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. And with that note, I build today. It's probably titled, Why Are You? Whispering. Why are you whispering? Why are you whispering? With all the news, with all the things that's going on in this world today. Why are you whispering? Why? Are you you whispering? You heard it. You heard it last week. The fourteenth. It's my uh, my niece, Dakari Butler. She got her bachelor's degree from UNT. You know, I really don't watch the news. And I was um I was working out Saturday and uh oh hold up. I'm sorry. I was working out Sunday morning. Saturday night I was in UNT and then celebrating with the fam, the family. I was working out Sunday afternoon and a good friend of mine, Anthony. He said, man, say, bro, you haven't heard the news. What happened yesterday? I gotta get another drink. I'm sorry, people. I said, Roz, what, what what happened? What happened yesterday? And that's when he told me about Buffalo, New York. Peyton. Mr. Peyton. Buffalo, New York, 10 people, 10 people were murdered, 10 people, excuse me, were murdered, killed, like it was a, a damn video game. Why are you whispering? The title of our talk today. Um, they said this woman, uh, Letitia Rogers, an employee of Buffalo Supermarket, where 10 people were killed. Call 911. We always knew 911 was a freaking, a freaking joke. Especially in my neck of the woods. We always know they even had a song. 911. It's a joke. 
public enemy. Look it up. Why are you whispering? Amongst other things. Roger was at the supermarket service desk with two co-workers. On the phone with a customer when she heard large booms in quick session. In a quick session. She told, she told the news people. I looked out the window and saw this customer. This lady with her shopping cart. She just stopped. And she just had this funny look, this funny look on her face. And then she turned to run, Roger said. Next thing you know, quoted Roger, you just kept hearing boom, 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 she said. And all we could do was just drop to the ground. Roger's head behind the counter. Praying, she said, praying, 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 praying that he didn't see me. She said of the shooter, Mr. Payton. I'm trying to, to think fast, she said. She reached into her back pocket, grabbed her own phone, and she dialed 911. She proceeded. She said, I proceeded to whisper whisper because I didn't know how many people they were in the store or anything I didn't want to be heard softly Rogers and Pooh please help please send help there's a person in the store shooting what 911 on the other line. I can't hear you. The dispatcher responded. She said, boldly, why are you whispering? You don't have to whisper. They can't hear you. The key word in that sentence, the key word in the whole Freaking sentences. They can't hear you. Why are you whispering? Nervous. Rogers dropped her phone. And she said the dispatcher kept speaking. But Rogers at that time, in a panic, almost panic mode, she couldn't make out the words. She said something. And then she hung up the phone, said Rogers, who then switched her phone to silent in case anyone rang. Next, Rogers dialed her boyfriend and in the same tone she used with the dispatcher, asked him, she asked him, Then a co-worker rang Rogers on a video call to ask where she was. And at the same hush, she relayed her location and asked her to call 911. When that call ended, Roger noticed that the store had been gone dead south. She said even the music somehow had gone offline. She continued. It was just a complete eerie, creepy silence in the store. And you can hear him walking around. Walking around. He was walking like on glass and you can hear it crushing under his feet. Roger stayed hidden, waiting until she heard the police and she saw an officer escorting an employee away. Escorting an employee away. When she came out from behind the counter, she saw bodies. 
It wasn't a good sight at all, she said, shaking and fighting tears back. The first person that I saw was the security guard, Mr. Aaron Salter. And she quoted, I knew it was him by his uniform to see what I saw. I would never want no one to ever experience that ever again. Why are you whispering? Why, why, why are you whispering? It was a, it was a shock. I can't stop drinking. I might just drink all night. I know I got to run four miles in the morning. So my question to you, my question to you, fam, watching our inspirational minutes with David. The same thing that, the same question that the dispatcher asked Miss Rogers. Why the hell are you still whispering? See, we got so much stuff going on. I want you to hear this. I got so much stuff to talk about. I'm not going to hold you too long. But listen, why are you whispering? I, I'm a critical thinker and I, and I go back and I think about things and I, and I think about why things happen and, you know, they get an 18-year-old feeble-minded little boy and indoctrinate him and set him on a mission. They, you know who they are. See, they, they, they're like um, vampires, energy vampires. They're like, um, they're like um, monsters that, that look for little weak people, weak-minded people, vultures. And they indoctrinate them. They grow them up with their indoctrination and they send them out to hunt for them. You know, it's the same thing I saw this video. Uh, you know, uh, he said, uh, I thought you said you're not going to kill me. He said, I'm not. <laughs> he is. And so they train people up, weak-minded people, indoctrinate them, and set them on their agenda to set their agenda for the whole world to see. Now, it could be like, uh, the agenda could be white power, yeah, that the agenda could be taking away gun rights from we, the people, not just white people, all people. You would trip out. It would blow your freaking mind if you know what the agenda is and, and why the agenda is being performed, you know. Uh, but there's an agenda. First of all, they're going to take away your gun rights. And how about knocking out two or three birds with one stone? We're going to send a feeble-minded little 18-year-old little boy, raise him up to kill, to go on the agenda. And first of all, let, let's not send him to just any neighborhood. Let's have him driving about three, 400 miles away from where he lives into a black neighborhood. Oh, we're killing two or three birds with one stone so we can get the black people. They don't care about themselves anyway. They kill each other anyway. So what we'll do, we send you the indoctrination. You'll go, you'll go kill some black people from a little white guy. Oh, maybe we can get a ride or something. Kill more black people. And also, we can take gun rights away from these people. And my boy Kendra Lamar said, hurt people hurt even more. Hurt people. Oh, it goes on and on. Why are you whispering? Why are you whispering? Think. Think about it. Gun rights. Kill black people. So a rise. Fever-minded white person. A uh, white little boy. He's a teenager. He's a kid. He's a child. Uh, maybe get off on um, insanity. More rise. More gun rights. More killing of black people. Oh, it's deep. Oh, you don't think that way, do you? You not a critical thinker. I see. Keep learning, keep growing, keep evolving. Oh, other news. I'm gonna get off that. Let me get another drink. 
I'm gonna get off that because I'm about to get a little irritated. We got Bill Hates. Um, he's uh, making artificial breast milk with his company. They say he's not responsible for the baby's formal shortage. Now, you're going to have children, women, they should be breastfeeding them in the way, the real milk. And you want to worry about shortages of formula. Because if Bill hates, if there's a shortage of formula, is this such a coincidence that it's a shortage with his company if all of a sudden <laughs> this stuff man can't be real the truth is is is, is stranger than fiction all of a sudden we have a breast formula shortage i'm just gonna read just a little bit it's a claim that their bill hates invested in a company working to create a lab produce breast milk company just as the United States experiences baby formula shortage are misleading, they say. Sure, they can put that out there because, remember, they control the news. They, they, they control both sides of the news, three sides, four, five, six sides of the news. They also, they also finance both sides of the war. Not just the war, but the war to your mind, to your soul, to your spirit. Mm. It's real. What about um what about what's going on on the May the twenty second through the twenty eighth? We on the we on the news. May twenty second through the twenty eighth. Do you know about that? Yeah, it's it's so much going on. Uh May twenty second through the twenty eighth. Let me give you a little excerpt. No you haven't heard about this. Let's go. Let's go. Get a little extra. She's going to tell you how it is. Child of God, let me give you your international history lesson on today. Now, I'll be telling y'all that what goes on internationally will circle around. But let me tell you what's going on. All you my woke people, my woke people, tell me how woke you are. And I ain't heard none of y'all say nothing, nothing about the meeting that is happening in Geneva, Switzerland, May the 22nd, 22, through May the 28th, 22. Oh, don't nobody know about that meeting? Let me go ahead and give you the backlog on it. At this meeting, 193 countries that are considered sovereign states under, under the United Nations are represented at this meeting, and they will be there, you all. Biden has brought along 40 countries with him that have decided that they will give our sovereignty, our human sovereignty, to the World Health Organization, whose legislative body is the World Health Assembly. Oh, I think I'm talking in riddles. Okay, let me break it down to you. If they approve this, May the 22nd through May the 28th, if Biden is successful with giving the World Health Organization our sovereignty, that means we no longer have control over our health. What does that mean? I'm not talking about no Medicaid, Medicare, how much that shit costs. What I'm talking about is saying, hey, there's a COVID-19 virus. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't tell them, like, don't, don't say, hey, hey. Hey, stop, stop. You hate little mama, stop. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to know that. They don't want to know that. They don't want to. Why are you whispering? Don't whisper. Say it out loud. For those in the back. Which means they can say 76 of these countries need to be shut down. Yeah. put on lockdown right now. Do you know there is no overturn? There is no legislative uh, body that you go through after this. Once they make this decision, you all, our sovereign rights as humans are taken. Do you know that nothing like this has ever been done throughout history? That it is considered unprecedented, unorthodox, and a whole bunch of other shit. Y'all want to talk about the wrong. You are being distracted. Where are your legislators? They know about this meeting, you all. They know about this meeting. Go look it up. And you may not be able to find it on Google. It's on Google. Look it up in other avenues. Call your legislators and you ask them about the meeting that is happening in Geneva, Switzerland, May the 22nd through May the 28th, in which Biden has already submitted amendments to provide our sovereign rights. We will no longer govern our own health, you all. We will no longer govern our own fucking world. You, you, you think you elect, uh, you're going to be able to elect the leader? Elect them. It won't matter. Because guess what? They will have no power. The World Health Organization will be able to deem to shut this bitch down whenever they want to. Where y'all at? Where the hell is y'all at? They about to kill our ass. Where is y'all at? 
<laughs> Why are you whispering? Because she's not whispering. Remember the dispatcher asked Miss Rogers, Why are you whispering? When the whole world around this little young woman was, was falling apart, the guy in the store killing everybody. And she's going to have the, the audacity to ask her why she was whispering. Did she not hear the gunshots? Now, May 22nd through the 28th. Oh, look it up. It's on there. I looked at it because I had to look at it. I had to search it. I'm a critical freaking thinker. Why are you whispering, people? Look it up. The Geneva. The Geneva. Meeting, Switzerland, Geneva, 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 Genesis, the beginning, Eva, Eve, Switzerland, switch the land up. Oh, you better stop playing with me. I'm not whispering. I'm louder in your freaking face. And we got to wake up. We have to wake up. We have to wake up. We need a strong shaking. They're going to take away the gun rights. They're running out of food. Oh, you go in stores, the currency. Uh, you better have the correct change. Uh, is it the fiat about to be taken away? Is it called currency to mean that it flows? What happens to all the coins? Where are the money going? Oh, we the people. We have no rights. But we have rights. But we feel like we have no rights because we're being directed. We, we, why are you whispering? Like the dispatcher goofily said. Why are you whispering? No, we're going to be loud. We're going to be all up in their face. Oh, Geneva, Switzerland, take away our rights. They already talked about Roe versus Wade. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. They want to get you all in this. Don't you know? Modified DNA. M-R-N-A. Oh, we talked about that. The last times uh, 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 when your DNA was modified, the Most High destroyed this place. It's coming again. Why are you whispering? The dispatcher asked Miss Rogers, why are you whispering? The flautician was asking the world. And listen, I, I can go on. I'm getting a little upset. It's the weekend. Let me get a third time breaking a record drinking. My fourth or fifth drink. I have to drink. This is insane. You made it this far in this video. Our inspirational minutes with they hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the bell notification, hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, share the video, like and share. The audacity of woke. A lot of people, they want to stay asleep. They don't have the audacity to go up, the temerity to question their why. Oh, Geneva, Switzerland, May 22 through 28. We'll see what's going on by the, by the end of the year. See what's going on. Oh, yeah, gun rights. Oh, a lot of stuff is happening underneath the scene. You worry about Johnny Depp. <laughs> You guys are so distracted. I pray for the world. I pray for peace. I pray for mankind. I pray for our children. I pray for the generations that come after us. With inspirational people, spiritual beings in a material human body expressing ourselves. And maybe sometimes we get a little confused. Maybe sometimes we get a little discombobulated on who we are and what we are. We forget that we have power. We forget that we are magic. We are magic. Why are you whispering? Why? Are you whispering? I love me because I love you. 
and when you love you, you love me. And if we love each other, it will cascade into our families, into our friends, into our neighborhoods, into our cities and towns, districts, states, then on to the world. Why are you whispering? My name is David. I'm the I'm the flower tissue. Again, hit the bell notifications, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the uh, share the video, like and share. Questions, ask questions. Yeah, get the book, The Audacity to Walk. Yeah, I am still giving free books away. Huh, Ten of them. Um, why are you whispering? That's my question. I'm going to leave you with that. I love you. Peace.